Hello YouTube, Karma here. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how I got um, permission at work to use the manager's men's room, um, which is back in the office, and few people go in there, as opposed to the main men's room that um, is shared by our 150 other male employees, or whatever it is. Um, so, um, yeah, I want to tell you guys a little bit about that and, um, and how important that is and, and what a big deal it is, I guess, to me as well. Um, so, uh, I'm going to step back a little bit and kind of explain that um, where I work there's uh, something like 150 employees and uh, we even have um, prison people that work there um, that come there they work on a shift, but they're, they come in from prison, um, anyway, so, and so we got a pretty, like, rowdy crowd that come in there, um, you know, and, um, and I decided a week or two that I was no longer using that restroom, um, I, mainly I just don't want to get cornered and interrogated or something like that, you know, or worse or whatever, so, um, I've, I've been only using the manager's restroom since then, um, but today I kind of got, uh, well, I went to make my way there, and another manager stopped me and was like, oh, it's full, you can go in there right now. I was like, okay. And then he says, it's only for managers only. I was like, oh. And um, I wanted to explain to him then, well, you know, how I felt about the kind of problem about using the the regular bathroom that's out in the plant, but I didn't go into it because, um, after all, he's just another manager, and the person I needed to speak with was HR or his boss, and so, um, and so, yeah, that sucked because I really had to use the bathroom, but, um, I found a chance finally, um, when the the plant manager, um, my boss's boss's boss, whatever, the head guy there, was free, and I popped my head in for a moment, and I said, you know, hey, are you are you busy? Can I get a minute? And he's like, sure, come on in. And I told him, I said, you know, um, I, I went on a, uh, first I said, um, you know, I, I asked him, I said, have you heard about me, you know? And, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I heard. And he said that they actually talked about it amongst other managers in the plant and and um a little bit so you know um and um and so then I went on to explain to him I said um you know I don't want to make people uncomfortable um um and then he kind of cuts me off and he tells me well you're gonna make people uncomfortable regardless um basically is what he was saying and and I didn't get the, to respond to that, but um, what I would have said to that was that, you know, I, I realized that I'm going to make people uncomfortable, but I wanted him to know that I have every intention with uh, not making people com uncomfortable, with, you know, doing the best I can to, to, to limit the uncomfortableness, you could say, and, and I wanted him to be aware of my intent for that. I also told him that I don't want to be a liability or a problem, and, and, um, but, uh, I guess he, he didn't respond to that so much, but, you know, um, either way, I'm, I suppose I am a liability, um, but, you know, I know that, um, that, um, I don't want to be more trouble than I'm worth, so I'm really, you know, trying hard to, to not, you know, I don't know, to, to be easy, be, be good about this, I don't, I don't need any problems, um, I told him I want to keep my job, you know, and he says, well, you're not going to be discriminated against, and here again, he used that word discriminated, and it's like, you know, yeah, I, I get it, um, even though, like, I've looked into the laws, I'm pretty sure they probably could straight up fire me for it, um, because there have been other cases of that, but they wouldn't go that route. And, um, you know, if they wanted to get rid of somebody, they could find a way. Um, and so, 
you know, that's kind of how I look at it, and, um, and I just don't need that, I don't need any problems, I'm, I want to stay on everybody's good side, um, don't want any problems with anybody, you know, um, I got enough problems, that's for sure, um, so, anyway, that's kind of how our talk went, um, I wish I went in there with some notes, so I could have went over for a little bit more with him, as far as my plans with the future, and, um, but, uh, with this, and any kind of topic that gets me, like, really emotional, that's really important, um, for some reason, that's when I get, like, super nervous, and I can't think as well, and, um, that's, those are the times when I need to, uh, come in with a notepad with notes, so, so, but yeah, um, after we talked about all that, um, then I went to explain to him, you know, um, I was, I said, you know, well, there's just, you know, I just have kind of one question right now, and, and I told him, I said, you know, I would really like to, to use the, the manager's restroom, which is down the hall from him, in the office area of the plant, not in the plant plant, but in the office area, where, you know, a select group of people use, <clears throat> the, the men's manager's bathroom, whatever, um, and, um, I didn't need to explain why or anything, he, he went straight to saying, you know, yeah, yeah, he, he actually insisted that I use that restroom instead, which I was really happy to hear, um, he said that he already had, um, set it up so that I could use that restroom, just that he was respecting my privacy and didn't share it with all the managers, um, and again, I wish I had took the time to explain to him that, um, you know, it's okay to go ahead and tell all the managers I'm not worried about my privacy right now. I'd rather get people knowing about this and let it kind of digest a little bit now so they get used to it and it won't be, it'll be less of a shock. At least that's my kind of plan right now. Is to just let everybody know, let it kind of sink in and let me slowly get into this and... So anyway, that's where I was at, and, um, basically, yeah, so he, he said that it was already set up, and I'm good to go, I can use that, the, uh, manager's men's restroom, and, um, I was really happy to hear that, you know, and I, of course, I thanked him, and, um, and he said he would, you know, let, uh, more people know, and he said if I had any problem about that, to come see him. He also added, in addition to that, that if I have any problems with anybody out in the plant, you know, at all, to come and see him as well, because he said he won't stand for any of that. So, that sounds great. Um, you know, I'm super glad to hear that. Uh, but I know, also know, you know, that's what he's supposed to say, you know. Um, that's what a good manager says, you know, those are just words as well, and, and I know that, again, um, I don't want to be more trouble than I'm worth, and if everybody was complaining about me, especially valuable members of the team, then, you know, um, my, the problem of keeping me around might be more than what I'm worth, and, and so, um, you know, I just don't want that to happen, um, so, but I don't think I got anything to worry about. Um, I've been working there for almost ten years, and um, so I feel, you know, really blessed at that. I've got a pretty good job, and um, you know, no complaints. Um, and then I came and, and told my boss, I was like, I got a permission to use the manager's room, manager's restroom, whatever. And he tells me, he's like, yeah, yeah, I meant to tell you that. I was like damn, um, you know, <laughs> he, he for, had forgot to tell me that he, he had already cleared permission, he, he told me, he was like, yeah, I already got permission for you to use that restroom, I was like, oh, he was like, yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you, I was like, oh, okay, so, I went through all that for nothing, but it was good to kind of touch base with, um, my boss's boss, and, and just kind of get an idea of how he feels about it, and, and all that, um, so, you know, but the hard times are coming, and, and, um, that's the next question, of course, is, um, I guess I have my own kind of plan laid out, but I don't know, um, if they 
so much agree with that or have any problems with that. And um, I guess I'll briefly go over it, but I'm, I'm hoping, you know, uh, really, really hoping with, with a little bit of luck and, and, and a lot of hard work um, that by the end of this year um, I'll be able to go full-time, um, you know, at work. Um, currently, work is basically the only time I'm not full-time, basically. Um, when I get up in the morning to go to work, that's the only time I wear men's clothes right now. And that's super cool. I'm, I'm you know, again, I'm super blessed for that. Um, my family's, they're all used to it now. Um, the kids and everything, they're, they're they've slowly pretty much kind of adopted this, uh, the, the idea, you could say, or it's basically more normal to them now, and so, and even some of my daughter's friends know as well, and they come by, and and they see me, and so, anyway, currently, um, you know, again, work is the only time I'm in men's clothes, and now I'm uh, working on going out in public with my family to places like Walmart or shopping or something without having to put my guy clothes on, I mean, um, I just really don't want to do that anymore. Um, I'm really pushing myself. I feel like it's a step back to to be on a weekend and to have to put my guy clothes on to go out somewhere. It's it's a step backwards in the wrong direction, and I don't want to do that. I'm, I want to keep taking steps into the, the direction that I want to go in. And so anyway, um, so that, that's where I'm at. Um, I know, I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, but anyway, my plans with work is that I'll be full time at the end of this year. And but in regards to uh, what's going to change at work is that um, you know yes, I I plan on changing my name um, legally. I really like Karma Lynn, um, but I haven't 100% decided on it. Sometimes I think it's a little too much, but um, but I keep coming back to it, and I really like it and that might be it, but, you know, I, I still got some time to think, and, and we'll see, so, I don't know, but, um, you know, I maybe, uh, you guys let me know what you think, um, anyway, the, the other option was, I thought, maybe going with what name that my mom had picked out for me if I had been born a girl, because, as it happens, she didn't know whether I was going to be born, born a boy or a girl at the, when she was pregnant, she didn't want to know. She waited till I was born to find out that I was a boy. So at that time, she had picked out uh, a girl's name and a boy's name, so to whichever direction I was going to end up being. Uh, anyway, she said she wasn't sure about the name, but she said Joy was what she thought it was going to be, and I just really don't like Joy. Um, yeah, I really don't like it. I don't know. Um, so, but it, but it seems I don't know, I don't know. Again, I'm really just thinking about it right now, and it's it's a lot to think about. So, I'm just gonna think on it, think on it a lot more, and we'll see. I haven't 100% decided, but I really like Karma Lynn, and I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm maybe 80% sure here. Anyway, so yeah, I changed my name. Um, you know, I hope by the end of this year, and then. Um, you know, the next big step is changing, um, the gender marker on my ID, my driver's license, and on my social security card, and on my birth certificate, matter of fact, yeah. So it's not going to be easy, uh, God, none of this is. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get it all done at, by the end of this year, but that I, that's my goal, and I'd really like to make that happen. But we're nearly halfway through the year, so it doesn't seem real likely, um, Especially when you got kids and birthdays coming like every month, but um, yeah. So, but but anyway, if I can change my gender marker, that is the point when I change my gender marker that um, that I expected them for me to be able to use the women's restroom. Um, and there's a women's restroom in the uh, in the manager's office as well. So if I have to use that one, that's fine. But I'm hoping that 
um, you know, my gender marker says female, that I should be able to use the, the women's restroom. I don't think they would object to that. Um, so, but I guess the, the problem will come in um, when I go full time or when I, you know, really, uh, when I'm dressing feminine and I have not yet changed the, the female marker on my license. So, that's going to be a really awkward period. Um, it would be nice if I could just do it all at once. Um, but I think it's going to be hard, like, again, um, because, um, well, I think, you know, really soon I'm going to have to wear a bra, like, um, like, for real. Uh, so, and, you know, if I get, um, I don't know how fast I'm going to get growth, but, um, but, it, uh, that's kind of, kind of determined, like, how this goes. I mean, if I get a lot of growth on my chest and, and I absolutely have to wear a bra, then, um, you know, I'm not going to be trying to hide it under a, a men's shirt, um, so, you know, we'll see, um, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen, but that's where, um, I'm at in my transition at work, um, thank you guys for watching, y'all take care, uh, I love you guys, peace.